Given the data set shown below, calculate the interquartile range, the quartile deviation, and the coefficient of quartile deviation. So starting with part A, the interquartile range, IQR for short, is basically the third quartile minus the first quartile. Well, we need to find the first and the third quartile. And there's a formula that we could use to find that. And here it is. QK is equal to K times N plus 1 over 4. And this will give you the term that will lead to that quartile. So looking for the first quartile, K is 1. So we're looking for Q1. So it's going to be 1 times n is the number of terms. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 terms, so n is 11. So this is going to be 11 plus 1 over 4. 11 plus 1 is 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So q1 is equal to the value of the third term. The third term is 14. So Q1 is 14. That's the first quartile. Now we need to calculate the third quartile as well. So let's calculate Q3. This, this equation gives us the location of the quartile, but the data set gives us the value of that quartile. So for Q3, K is 3, and then N is still 11. Eleven plus one is twelve. Twelve divided by four is three, and then three times three is nine. So the third quartile is going to be the ninth term. The value of the ninth term is thirty-five. So Q three has a value of thirty-five. So now we can determine the interquartile range. It's going to be 35 minus 14, which is 21. So that's the answer for part A. Now, part B, the quartile deviation, let's call that QD. The quartile deviation is Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. In other words, it's one half of the interquartile range. So it's one half of 21, which will give us 10.5. So that is the quartile deviation. Now let's calculate the coefficient of quartile deviation in part C. Let's abbreviate that as CQD, coefficient of quartile deviation. And that's going to be Q3 minus Q1, which is the interquartile range divided by Q3 plus Q1. So it's going to be 35 minus 14 divided by 35 plus 14. So this is 21. 35 plus 14, that's going to be 49. So let's get the decimal value that corresponds to this. 21 divided by 49 is approximately, if we round it, point four two nine so that's how we can calculate the coefficient of quartile deviation by the way for those of you who want a printout of these formulas feel free to check out the links in the description section below i'm going to post the formula sheet that has all of these formulas it's going to explain how to calculate the quartile the percentile the decile, the octal, it has standard deviation, variance, and all of the other formulas that you'll see in a typical introductory statistics course. So feel free to take a look at that as well. Also, I'm going to be posting some other links to some other videos that will have related content on statistics, such as how to calculate the standard deviation how to calculate the variance and other 
similar topics. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance.